a favorite proof is uh-huh. that every normal space is metrizable. So what that means is basically on certain spaces with certain properties, you can have uh-huh. a notion of distance. Okay, we have two integrals on the spot. The first one is the integral of e i of x. Yes, that's a special function. And for the second one, we have the integral of l i of x. That's a special function as well. But anyway, as always, please pause the video and try them first. Okay, hopefully you guys have a chance to try them. It's crazy to integrate special functions, huh? But it's okay. It's doable. Let's look at the first one. We don't know how to integrate e of x that well yet, but we do know how to differentiate e of x pretty well, right? So why don't we do integration by parts? So that way we can actually differentiate e of x, right? And don't forget the plus minus on the side just to get ready. And here we go. Differentiating e i of x and integrating 1. Differentiating e of x, we get e to the x over x. And integrating 1, we get just x like this. This is very nice. You will see, because when we do this times that, that's the first part of the answer. And don't forget the plus right here. So it's positive x times that. So x times e i of x. That's the first part of the answer. And for the second part of the answer, we're just going to multiply this. And this is still an integral though. And we have minus integral e to the x over x times this x. And of course, we are still in the x world, so put on the dx. This is so nice because x and x cancel each other out. So we just have to integrate e to the x, which is just e to the x. OK, finally, answer is x times e i of x. And then minus e, I, I mean e to the x, just like this. And we're done, plus plus c. This is it. Very cool, isn't it? Now, integrating l i of x. We are going to do the same thing and see what happens. So let's go ahead and put down d and then the i, plus minus on the side to get ready, and differentiating l i of x and then integrating 1. Differentiating l i of x, we get 1 over natural log of x. Integrating 1, we get x. Now we see when we do this times that, so it's just x times l i of x, and that's positive, so that's good. And then we are going to multiply this row. And keep in mind, this is still an integral, so we have the minus integral this times that. Let's put the x on the top. So we have x over ln of x, like this, dx. Man, this is not easy to do at the moment. Don't worry, you sub will you know, help us out. Let's go ahead and do our u sub to see what happens. That u equal to ln of x. And let's just do this real quick. du is equal to 1 over x dx, and multiply x on both sides, we get dx equals x times du. And notice, u is equal to ln of x. That means x is equal to e to the u. So this is the same as saying e to the u du. And we will see. Let's just do this integral right here real quick. The integral of x over ln of x dx. This is going to be the integral x is e to the u over ln of x is u. And dx is e to the u. Oh my god, and the du. Nothing can solve yet, but it's okay because check this out. e to the u times e to the u is just e to the 2u. You add the exponents. So we get the integral of e to the 2u over u du. Hmm. This is actually pretty good because we can do another substitution if you would like. Let me just do another substitution for you guys. Let's do w. Let's do it with 2u and dw is equal to 2 du. So du is equal to 1 half dw. Now let's take this to the w world. This is going to be the integral e, and this is going to be the w over the u is what? u is going to be 1 half w, right? So let's put this in the denominator. So we have 1 half w, and du is 1 half d. W. What's so good about this? Look at the one half cancel out, and we're just integrating e to the u over so e to the w over w in the w world. So all in all, the answer for this is what e i of w 
not U, but like, you know, EI of W. And if you look back, W is 2U, so we can, of course, look at this as EI, and of course, we have the 2U, but <laughs> we, have, we have to go back to the X world. U is ln of x, so finally we can say this is just e i of 2 ln of x. Very nice. All in all, this right here is the answer for that part. So we can come back here and then finish this nicely. Finally, the answer right here is x times l i of x. And uh, this is the minus right here, so I will put this down minus, real, why not? And perhaps I'll just make this blue. Like, why not? This part, that one, namely EI of 2 ln x. Very, very nice. Yeah? And then in the end, of course, don't forget the plus C. Very good, even though we are using special functions, but still plus C, plus C, plus C. By the way, I love it. I love how when you are talking about math books, I love the joy dance on your face. Your smile, your. <laughs> yeah. I can totally tell that you love it too, man. Oh my goodness! Yeah, there's a, there's a lot oh. of math. That's it! Hopefully you guys all like this, and we'll do more.